Hi there, this is Johnny, a man and machine. This is going to be a quick demo on racking systems inside of Revit. Um, so just looking at a basic family that I've created. It took me about 15 minutes to create this family. It's not the most complex. If, if I was doing this properly, I'd spend a lot more time, but it's just to show what can be done with a Revit family. Um, and if you've got something that repeats quite a lot, like a racking system, um, then it could be quite beneficial to do this kind of thing, maybe for concept tender. Um, and even maybe when you're looking at fabrication. So what I'm gonna do is just load this into um, a project. Uh, actually, I've already got one open with this in, so I've got a racking system here. So the shelves are at 600 millimeter increments. I do have some other um, parameters that I put in, so I've got bracing height, rack depth, um, and I've got an array here, so I can just add more and more bays. So just having a look at what I can do with this, if I was to say um, add 12 bays, I could have 12 bays quickly added. I'm just gonna go to my level zero so I can uh, lay these out a bit more accurately. So once I've got my, my bay and I could um, add in another bay and then just start arraying these. Um, and depending on maybe if I had a DWG as an underlay, I might be able to start placing these um, inside my, my warehouse perhaps or wherever I need to put them. Um, and I can just, let me just copy these across very quickly. I won't add any dimensions to them, but it's very easy to dimension and add spacings inside of uh, Revit. So I head back into my 3D just to have a look at these. Um, so I've already got quite a good layout. I'm gonna just, uh, just show you what you can do with this. So because this is an instance um, parameter, I can change these individually. So if I wanted these shelves perhaps to be maybe uh, 2,400 high, so it's gonna take a couple of shelves off the top. Um, because they're all instance parameters, it just affects that instance. I could have it as a type parameter and that would affect all of them at the same time, but just if I have maybe a strange space to lay these out, it might be beneficial just to have it so that I can change each one individually. Um, so once I've got this 3D, uh, all of these models in here, I could, I've got my plan view, I can maybe start adding some 2D detail to this. Um, I'll have my elevations as well, so I can see exactly what's going on, perhaps my north views. Um, so this is sort of like a rough, um, a rough start to a project perhaps where I can start adding more information, in maybe 2D or um, creating just a more complex family to be able to see more detail, I suppose, um, within uh, my Revit project. So hopefully this is a useful overview on what can be done inside of Revit with racking systems. If you have any questions about this video or want any more information at all, please get in touch with Man and Machine.